Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a quick little tour of my show barn. I am planning some updates with this barn and with this property since I am going to be moving it onto my own server with a few other mods, but this is just a general tour of what I have finished. And I do plan on doing more of like a winter or maybe even like a spring updated tour. So this won't be the last tour you will see of this. It isn't like an official, um, I've built everything, I'm confident with everything type tour. It is just to show you guys what I've done already. And I know a lot of you guys have been wanting a tour so so badly so welcome to the official tour of oakleaf stables it has been so nice to be able to build in front of you guys in live stream so i'm really excited to be able to share with you guys this property and the progress we've made so if you guys would like to skip to more of like a cinematography and montage type thing i will put the chapter in the video so you guys can skip ahead but if you'd like to just watch like a vlog style walkthrough tour then you guys can watch the first part of the video too if you guys like these types of videos like building tours and just showing off builds and just exploring minecraft worlds then make sure to like comment and subscribe it really does help my small channel grow and i'm excited to see some new faces in my live streams when i build mindlessly <laughs> let's get right into the video Before we actually start exploring Oakleaf, this right here is a barn that I started building on a live stream for um, schematics for viewers, so you guys are going to be able to download this in the future. It's right now just a work in progress, but I am going to continue uh, building it in the future, but it's just here. It's just chilling. You guys can ignore it. I just wanted to say that before you guys are like, what's that in the background that she never really explained? I explained it, I swear. So let's start at the beginning of Oakleaf because I feel like the entrance is one of the most important parts. The entrance isn't quite done. Um, I plan on hello um, i plan on expanding this into like a trailway to my ranch which you guys will get a tour on very very soon i plan on making like a trailway all the way to my ranch but it's unfinished right now like i said this is kind of like a work in progress barn a lot of animals around it hence the chicken the chicken's chillin chillin chicken when you walk onto the property you can see that there's a lot of trees in the distance there's this cute little what i call is just an oval garden and it's just a very very pretty divider that i have to kind of split the path ways in a way on the direct left we have my full slash quarantine barn i'm not really sure when i'm going to be making it just yet i actually built this on live stream so if you guys would like to take a look at that i do have my live stream build that i did with the reference of my main barn over there thank you distance blur for making that so nice this barn in here it doesn't really have a lot it just has six stalls a feed room and a wash stall and beside it it has its designated pasture and then over here we have the two individual pasture these pastures can fit up to one to two horses that are maybe aggressive or should be by themselves even just one single horse that is horse aggressive or just is in quarantine um i want to just have two individual pastures they also have a little shelter in the corner and they both are basically the same. There are a few setup differences with the troughs and the feeders. Both of the same concept, both of the same size, and I really only put one to two horses in here at all times because any more would probably be overdoing it. And then we have my two main pastures up front, which kind of border the pathway up until the barn. We have the stallion slash gelding pasture, which is the blue gate. And then we also have the mare's pasture, which is the pink gate. Both pastures have some friends in them. I know that we have a sheep over there, and I believe this pasture also has a friend in there. Yeah, the chicken's over there. And now the barn. This barn was the foundation or sort of the start of this build. It was something that all of the builds around it. It. they were based off of this barn so this barn was made by jenny and she did an amazing job on designing this barn the first time i saw this barn after she started building it i was already in love and then when she finished it it was even better so i am still like captivated by this barn this barn has a mare side which is on the right and on the left side there is the stallions. The stallion side does have more room because on the mare side there is the feed and the tack room and um, there's beans. We're not going to talk about that. If you watch my live streams, you'd get a lot of the inside jokes I put on around here because they're just randomly placed. We have the tack room, which is mostly set up with the tack boxes, which like correspond with each horse. And then we have the feed room, which is right next door. 
This has the feed and also the work in progress feeding schedule, which will be edited when I get my new server up and going with the mods that can help with that. And then we have the wash stall. So there are three less stalls on the mare side because of those. Um, I do not plan on having a lot of other horses, so I'm in luck with that. And then we have Chicken. He's such a valued member of this barn. Oh, he laid me an egg. Thank you. <gasps> chicken, you have a son. Chicken, you're a mom. You have a son. Oh, get away from me. <laughs> this barn also has aisleways on both sides, which I find really convenient to lead the horses down on the side of the barn rather than like around the barn. It kind of makes it really easy to lead your horses from one destination to the other versus like I said having to go around a lot of different structures and when you go straight through the barn to the other entrance the back entrance you will find the arena connecting to the barn this arena is known as the main arena and it has just a small jump setup going on right now the highest jump in this arena is a three block jump and there's only one of them here and I do plan on making a more advanced course or like a fancier course when I update this barn a little bit. So each entrance of this arena kind of has like a corner opening to it. This side has an opening to the bleachers, which is over here. These bleachers are the biggest set of bleachers on this property, and they're mostly known as like the main seating. I may downsize them at some point because I'm not sure why I need such big bleachers. They were my first bleachers build, okay? I was really excited to make it big and amazing and cool. Who needs bleachers this big? Not me. And down here, we have the little viewing area for the covered arena. I really just made this because it used to be a kind of viewing area for the dressage arena when the dressage arena used to be here. I don't really have a use for it now. I was gonna kind of just make make it like connected to the arena and make it kind of just like a waiting area with sand for the horses but I'm still deciding on it you guys can definitely leave some recommendations for me because I it's kind of blank it's kind of empty if you go down the path and continue on to the other side of the barn, you will find a placing board slash scoreboard with some of the swim plates on it with some pretty flowers, and then you will find the covered arena. Currently, the covered arena is just more of like a training arena. We have an area for lunging. Lunging doesn't come out until V2, but I love to use it for RRP when I have friends to kind of ride the horse and create a dream of lunging, you know? The next part of the tour is on the other side. Okay, so we already met chicken if you continue on we're gonna head over here first because i want to show the side of the property first we have another set of bleachers and we have a little bit of like an overhang transition covering going on right here and another set of bleachers on that side it transitions into the warm-up arena i don't know if you guys saw the sign i didn't show the sign i'm a bad tour leader i know this says warm-up arena the warm-up arena is kind of like a smaller arena between my two arenas just to allow people to warm up do different things to make sure their horse is all warm up for whatever they're competing in whatever they're riding in it's also just a really nice like smaller arena if i want to train some of my newer horses the secondary arena just has a dressage arena and at the moment it is a lot bigger then my um, main arena as you can see here's the main arena and then here is the secondary arena it is much bigger than my main arena and there's a reason for that i plan on making the dressage arena kind of like a temporary thing i can put it there if i need it but if not i'm going to make it a big jumping course or maybe even just like a trail course in here something a little bit simpler but also leaves enough room for people to ride in if they want to do some other discipline this is the back part of my property behind the secondary arena and it is the ending of the cross country course which I do not plan on expanding until I get my server going with this world on it. I have shown some of my cross country course and I will show it in another video. Currently it is unfinished and I want to wait to finish it until I have the correct mods that I want and the correct blocks and everything. Not that I can't build it now, it's just I have an idea with the other mods I'm going to be using and I just want to wait. Here is the lovely tree which was named after one of my top donators. I love lovely. Here is a little tack up slash feed station. Here is Biddy's swing, one of my mods Biddy. This is her little designated swing with the giant tree. At night, this tree is absolutely beautiful and there's a reason I use the lanterns and stuff to light it up. Here is a little filler uh, like fountain garden area. This will also probably get some remodeling soon to add some trees and extra things. I kind of want to make it like a really organized garden, but it's really difficult to do that when I also want like a tree 
leavey look, you know? This is the Sophia Gazebo. I named this after another one of my top donators and also just Sophia who joins my streams all the time and is really sweet. Currently it has like scaffolding for tables and I plan to make like a, a viewing area for the arena and beans the beans inside joke is from a live stream so you guys just have to be there you know you guys just have to watch it another bench swing because i can never have too many bench swings we also have these two little flower beds kind of just dividers really just put them there to fill in the empty area and i love flower beds and flowers in general so i feel like it's spiced up the place in the right way so this path continues down and we have a little opening i'm gonna be connecting the path as soon as possible to that area so we can just kind of have a cross through path i kind of want to make as many paths as possible so that the convenient like pathways are there you know and then we have kind of a round pen working pen whatever once lunging does become available this will be very useful but for now it's just to store horses in maybe work them a little bit and this over here is a giant archway that i built with world edits or I guess formed would be the right word. And this is gonna be the start to my other cross country trail, which I plan to make a little bit more difficult or a little bit longer than my original trail. So I've explained this in other videos and other live streams, but I plan on making a cross country course, or I already made one over here. I'll show you guys some of the jumps. And it's gonna end right here. This one's gonna start here and just travel all the way across the world right through three different biomes so i'm really excited to see that but this is kind of just the start of it behind the main arena we have the start of the cross country course and i do want to wait to show you guys the full cross country course but i'm going to show you guys some of the jumps um, i have showed them on a live stream before i think my favorite jump is either this jump or this jump which is the fallen tree jump um, I do plan on making more jumps soon for the cross country course. It kind of just goes on throughout the map with like wooden blocks to show where I want the jumps and then the finishing area right here. Thank you so much for joining me on the walkthrough of Oak Leaf Stables. 
I hope you guys all enjoy this little tour. I don't know if you guys can see Winnie in the background, but she is poking her head out of the stables. I do plan on making more tours for the stables and more build live streams. If you guys do enjoy those types of things, make sure to put on the notifications and check out my Discord because I give notifications before every stream there. And I also hope you all loved all of the footage that I put together because I love adding cinematography and little extra clips to my video. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day, stay healthy and safe, and I will see you in the next video or stream.